Yo, yo, yo. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back. We's doing a Burger King mukbang. Let's eat with me today. Let's eat with CPA Strength. Let's eat with JD Blaze954. Let's eat with this. And you guys can be the DC Adler crew. You can be the Get Your Chippers Up gang. Um, the, the, the whatever, whatever's. I was thinking, like, before, like, you ever heard, you know, like, Method Man has, like, ten different, like, Johnny Nichols, the, the, uh, Tikal, Italian Stallion, Flallion Gallion, like, he's got, you know, Allah, another rapper, you know, some other rappers, you know, like, my boy Jelly Roll, he's, uh, like, Fat Man Jones, Run on Car Ronnie, not with the bullshit tonight, uh, you know, Fat Man Jones, Totem Pole Roll, like all these different names. So I think that's more fun than having a bunch of the same. Enough of that. I got my standard water here today. Now I went to Burger King, they got they got a two for two for six deal. So here's my I don't think I think it was like six forty or something. But here's my, uh, I got a chicken sandwich, the original chicken sandwich. This is like my first, my first love. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, this is like my first love. <laughs> and then I got a Whopper. So, um, you know what, I'm going to start off with this chicken sandwich because I just, I'm just dying to get this chicken sandwich here. You know what, I think I'm going to sit back like this. Got a little Burger King love here. Woo, woo, woo. Oh. Right, they used to cut these sideways. So let's see what's on this. On this Burger King sandwich. Oh. Oh, that. That chicken patty's so good. The bread's good. Oh, little mayonnaise, little, little water stuff, right? Uh, mayonnaise and lettuce. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Mmm. So good. I got hungry. I was like, what? What? Where am I gonna do my mukbang today? I'm ready to do my let's eat. So I went to Burger King. I'd have to say Burger King is my favorite fast food place to eat from. Mm. I don't really like my camera setup, but I don't know. That's how it is now. I think uh, I made some other improvements over here. I'm gonna look, uh, see some comments or some comments that were on my other, my other mukbang here. So I got some comments. Thank goodness I got, uh, mm, thank goodness you left some comments for me to talk about in the beginning of this uh, mukbang there, Sheila. Thank you, I appreciate that. So, oh my god, this chicken sandwich is bomb. I don't know how, oh, there it goes. Woo, I did it. Mmm. <laughs> That's how you know when it starts getting real, right? Mmm. <laughs> Dang, I love that chicken sandwich, boy. Mmm. Okay. Thank you for the question, Sheila. Let's get uh, answers. She asked, um, 
Do you cook at all? I think so since you're a bodybuilder. Yeah, I used to cook all my meals. I eat at home for like two years. I track pretty meticulously. I track my calories. Oh, I do 40% protein, 40% carb, and 20% of my calories would be from fats. So it'd be like 250, uh, 250 grams of carbs a day, 250 grams of protein, about 50 grams of fat. But, um, recently, I haven't really been cooking that much, but yeah, I cook. I've been cooking since I was in the third grade. Second or third grade, I've been cooking. Um, I haven't been as much right now. I don't really like, um, I'm just so addicted to making these videos right now that, uh, I'm not really cooking and being healthy and all that kind of stuff. Uh, she says, what do you think about the ketogenic lifestyle? Awesome transformations on YouTube. I'd like to see you do healthy mukbang. Um, I think keto is cool. Um, I, I see it work for a lot of people. Keto, sorry about that. Keto is basically um, like no carbs or super low carbs and seems like carbs are almost in everything like bread and I just don't find that like lasting um, no carbs so uh, I don't think it's for me uh, healthy mukbang I mean okay I could do a healthy mukbang but I, I find you know the word healthy and stuff is just I like to have you know a certain I like to practice a I I F Y M if it fits your macros. And it's just like I said, um, you know this 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 meal would have a lot of my uh, calories for the day in it. I don't like to, I only drink water though, so that's healthy. Um, I don't like to exclude foods because then I just binge out terribly. So if I feel like a piece of pizza, I try to have a couple pieces of pizza. You know, today I felt like burger. Uh, felt like Burger King. So I got two sandwiches. They're probably five, five, six hundred calories each. Um, I'm probably allotted 3,000 calories for the day, so I'm not even really so much cheating. Um, but I don't like to exclude foods, because once you exclude foods, uh, then it seems like when I finally do eat them, I just can't stop, and I go just, I go completely crazy, crazy, crazy. Like, super binge hard. Uh, so, hmm. So it's the carbs that makes you want more, because I think I was referring to, these are questions from my other mukbang, the Wendy's mukbang I did. Um, yeah, it's probably the carbs, and yeah, it, it, it is, some, the carbs make you want more, I think you're right. I'm looking over here, like, into the computer, like I'm talking to her, but, sorry, Chill, you're right. Um... Mm. Yeah, she looks like she's struggling with her weight for her life. Me, me too, I feel, I, I got those feels. You know, it's not easy for someone. I was watching um, some mukbangers. Two sisters, always hungry, 26, I think. They're like big, bigger girls too, and sometimes you're just gonna be big. Um, <clears throat> I just finished a chicken sandwich. It was delicious. Like, 
I don't really talk about it much. I mean, I'm just here to eat the... I already knew I loved the chicken sandwich. That was one of my favorites. Uh, I just... That was one of my first loves. Like... Mm-hmm. Anyway... <laughs> oh... Alright. Enough of those questions. Enough of those questions, boy. Um... But... Okay. Sorry about that. This is good. I like this. <sighs> All right. That was chicken sandwich down. Now we're gonna go for the wapé. We're gonna go for the wapé. Oh, I love the wapé too. Um, This is my go-to, because the chicken sandwich doesn't really fill me up as as much as I would like it to. Mmm. So, I didn't add anything. Look at all this goodness on the Whopper. Oh. oh. Jeez, I'm crow. Look at that. Beef patty pickles. Mmm. Tomato, onion lettuce, ketchup, dang, everything, so good, oh, I was out of the, <laughs> my head was out of the picture, I got so excited my head was out of the picture, right, oh, sorry about that, dude, this is really amateurish, I'm sorry about this, kicking the tripod, and I'm really sorry, mm, first bite of the Whopper, all right, I'm back. I changed the uh, the layout just a, a smidgey. This is hopefully a little bit better. <sighs> Sorry about that. Mm, let's see here. <sighs> okay. I feel like this is a good setup. I feel like this is a good setup right here. Hope you guys think so as well. Uh... All right, main top main topic of this this video is going to be about YouTube, how I grew my YouTube channel, how I'm growing my YouTube channel, um, this and that. See, man, it's always it's always something, something little, right? Just something bothers you, right? It's crazy. Uh, mug, no, no edits on the mukbangs. That's just how we roll. Because I do, you know, six other videos a week, and the mukbangs I don't really want to edit. I'm really, I only, even though I sit here and I want it to be like my stress-free one, I always think about it because I want it to make it good. But that's fine. Um, before I go into this, is about uh, YouTube. I was thinking today that I have such a uh, addictive, addictive personality, and um, heavily addicted to to drugs for for, for twenty years. <clears throat> all kinds, all the all of them, <laughs> all of them, and I always make me so upset. Like, why why am I so addicted? And and, and it it make me so upset. Um, I was addicted, and I was addicted to other other negative things, you know. Um, and and it, and it's uh, instead of instead of just telling myself that I, I'm I'm not I'm never going to be addicted anymore, I just said, okay, I go 100% into everything. Like I I can't just like balance. I can't do the balance. And you know that's how I got my CPA license because. I had no balance. I just, you know, when I was going, uh, when I was studying for my CPA exam, that's all I did, and no, no other, no balance, and that's just how I have to do things. And I like it. It's fun. I don't know. It's fun for me, and that's that's where I get around. That's where I'm on the YouTube now. Um, I watched uh, I watched PewDiePie video today. He said how to be a YouTuber. 
Mm, sorry, let me eat this. Mmm. The PewDiePie was saying, like, you know, a YouTuber, you're like you're your own boss, you're, you know, you set your own hours. It quickly turns into 24. 24 7 thing like it's it's my whole you know it's just I wake up to YouTube to go to bed think about YouTube everything is YouTube for me right now and I love it I mean I do not have balance I do not have a um, I try to do things that I want to do on the YouTube but like everything's for the YouTubes right now pretty much I don't have any balance but For me, I've never had balance with anything. I always go, I always dive, dive headfirst in, and it is what it is. Oh, this Whopper's so good. Come on, come on. Oh, get that Whoppy. Oh. Mmm. Y'all, that chicken sandwich was good, but Burger King been killing it with the Whopper game, killing it. Oh, fun fact: Brazil, it's been you know Brazil over everything. Um, Brazil bought Burger King. Brazil, man, they know what's up in Brazil. Let me just say that. Shout out to Brazil. Let me give a special shout out to Brazil. Uh, so it will consume you. I am consumed with the YouTubes, but at this point, it is what it is. Um, <laughs> so, PewDiePie was saying, like, You can seem to do all these games and this and that, and I mean, you know, I'm sure you know he's saying every every YouTuber has some what they did to get subscribers or viewers what they're not proud of doing, and um, he said he he would like private message or like he would see someone who would be commenting in a set he used to do Call of Duty games, so he would comment he would see someone commenting on a video of someone who was also doing Call of Duty games and he would private message the people, the person left a comment and be like, no, oh, watch my video. <laughs> but he was saying you gotta have the, you gotta have like some personality to keep it going. Um, so I'll go, I think there's, you, you kind of maybe have to have an intangible cause I always, I was seeing like, you know, content, 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 content. Like if you, if you make consistent content, that is the that is my that is my number one tip to grow a YouTube channel. Um, that's what we're gonna talk and do now. As I have look twenty two thousand four hundred eighty two subscribers. I am averaging about eighty subscribers a day, and YouTube's consume my life. I'm having the time of my life right now. I don't remember ever being happier, to be complete, to be completely honest. And uh, I'm not hurting anybody. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm basically teaching the world accounting. And then like, I'm eating, I'm doing a mukbang, telling some stories, trying to be very positive, trying not to bring any of my negativity into the, like, yeah, 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 I'm just showing you the highlights of me, but I don't want you to see the low lights of me. So anyways, tangent, how did I grow my YouTube? Um, because I have some personality and, uh, oh, I love doing it. So I can talk about it forever, you know, how I grew my YouTube channel. Consistent videos. Consistent videos. That's my number one thing. 
and uh, you don't want to start because because uh, I've had I've had some friends who who started then they stopped shout out to my neighbor who got to put up with this shout out to him hopefully he's got his headphones on with that it just threw me off because I thought I was alone here but um you know what are you gonna do so You know what? <clears throat> We're just gonna act like, as far as anybody knows, talking on the phone with my buddy, because I do that. So I do that. Uh, I have I have actually some friends that I talk to on the phone sometimes. Oh, water's good, but yeah, consistent videos, man. You want to do? I'd say. I'm doing every day now, and I've noticed my analytics from when I was doing, when I first started, no one, no one was watching, I did like, a, you know, like a, one a day for a while, like 60, 70 videos in a couple months, and they were kind of trashy, and I just, but after, like this, this, uh, this June, I did three, I did three week for... And this June, this June of 2017, I started. I did three, three a week for three videos a week for I think a month, and I noticed that I started getting some traction. The views started going up. Um, then I did five videos a week for a couple weeks. I noticed, I noticed a little bit more traction. Now I'm doing every day, and it is really, is really, is really, is really taking off on the daily. Mmm. 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 Oh yeah, look at that picture. So I, I can get in fact, get back in focus, focus. I'd say just consistently good comment, um, content. I think I see a lot of people spreading themselves thin, like not making consistent YouTube content and then uh, making a bunch of, you know, always on the Instagram, always on the, always on the Facebook. And that's fine, I think, if you have your, if you're, if you have your YouTube on point, but I, I, I think people spread themselves too thin sometimes. Or, what you do, you start a channel, you get all gung-ho, you make, uh, you know, you make uh, 10 videos in the first two weeks, and then you don't make any for four or five months. Uh, so, I would say just do one, I would say do one, just start with one video a week, okay? Even though, and then if you have another one ready, that's fine. Schedule it for a week ahead. Like pick pick an upload day. Friday at eight eight p.m. or whatever. You know, Wednesday afternoon or whatever. Pick a day, and stick with and stick with that. Have a consistent schedule. And once you get, uh, you know, I'd say you know a couple couple backed up and that keep got a couple scheduled and that starts getting easy then start doing then you can up your frequency I'd say to, to two or three a week and then hold off there and then once you do that for a month or two um, because I can tell you from experience from now doing um, daily videos for I think two or three weeks now that it's 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 way way more than than just getting in front of the camera and it's so hard uh, well, you know I just said I was having I've never had more fun ever but you know it's always something um, something's wrong with the camera something's wrong 
there's no AC at, at you know, my the place I film is my office, and maybe there's the AC's broken. Um, I was here, the lights weren't working one night. Um, you know, it's always something I was trying to upload to YouTube. The the internet was out one night. It's it's crazy. Oh, that's why working ahead is very key because something's always going to go wrong. So I've been working ahead lately. So that's another key. But I think um, how to go a channel. You just be be yourself. Be yourself, because guess what? There's only there's only one you. Um, watch some different. Watch some different. You watch different YouTubers. Like that talk about how to grow a channel. Oh, probably the biggest uh, tube. Tube Buddy. It's a keyword optimizer and it has helped grow my channel. There's there's a lot of good features for free. There's even more good features for paid. I just I've been using the free one. It's a lot of good features. It really helps with your title tag description, especially with your tags and um, to, to sift through videos, so, so tube buddy, that's a huge win. And shout out to Roberto Blake, that's my main guy where I got all, a lot of my tips from, my YouTube tips, Roberto Blake, our, our Bizzle, he's really good. Roberto Blake, check him out. Um, but I think about, yes, last August, I, <coughs> um, was watching, I found him on YouTube and, he said he uses TubeBuddy, and it's basically like a, an app that you use in conjunction with YouTube, and it, it's a keyword optimizer. Um, so t it, it helps you with title, tag, description, and and optimizing your words, and 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 that's really how I've grown my channel. Like I pretty much doubled my channel. <clears throat> last August from last August to September when I started using TubeBuddy so I can't so that's a huge one you know like in my opinion um, so consistent videos also title you get a hundred words I think use a hundred words man you know be smart with it the first words the most that's why mine is you know accounting for beginners blah blah, blah but it always starts with accounting I do uh, all right, my friends, that was uh, another time the, the camera went off, but um, title, you get 100 words, use them all. Description, you get 5,000. You, co you copy and paste, the, uh, like, what I do is I have like 4,000 words in my, in my um, description, and then I copy and paste from, from each video from like, you know, for my accounting videos, cop and paste, and then tags, you get 500 words for tags, so don't play yourself. And then tags, I'll tell you, oh, and thumbnail too. Thumbnail's the other one, make a nice thumbnail, make a nice picture. That is huge, because a lot of, you know, people are very visual, so there's a lot, there's a lot to goes in to um, growing your YouTube channel, but also another one is Answering your comments, like, think, think about when you've left a comment on a, a, a YouTuber's page and, and they responded back to you, you know, it, it, it's like, ah, oh, he knows who I am, you know, it feels great. And um, it's more engagement on your channel because I think that's two comments. I could be wrong, but I don't, you know, I'm not sure if that's another, another comment or your comment responding but it really and you know I, I mean I have 20,000 20, 22,000 subs and uh, you know it's just now starting to get a little little crazy for me like mm. We're gonna do my last bite here. Last, last bite of the Whopper. 
Such a good Dang, that's such a good uh, meal. Um, I don't know. We'll see what I'm gonna have. We'll see what I'm gonna have next week. You know, I think just like my accounting videos, uh, each each uh, each mukbang will get better and better. I don't really feel like I've talked about much, or I feel like I went aimlessly, but. Uh, <laughs> I guess. It is what it is. But anyways, till next time, till the next Let's Eat, till the next AFB I see you at. Uh, thanks for watching, and um, yeah, stay positive, all right? Peace.